no mai haere mai ki te whare taoka o hakina ko Rohina tenei. Welcome to the Hokan Library and this is Rohina. Rohina, this is a really interesting place here in Dunedin Central. Um, tell us about what, what the Hokan Library is. Kia ora Andrew. Well, the Hokan is a library, it's an archive and an art gallery and what that all means that we bring together books, newspapers, old papers that people have written like diaries and maps and, and artworks and photographs and it's a, a place where all of those, those tauka, those special things are kept and looked after for future generations. And there's a really special document here that we're going to talk about and as mm -hmm. part of some research you did on Pākake a few mm. years ago, you Research some papers done by a man called James Herries Beatty. Who was he and what did he do? Well, James Herries Beatty, he was known as Herries, that was his middle name. Um, he was born in Gore in 1881, uh, and he, his parents were Scottish, and from a really young age, eight years old, he was recording stuff, keeping diaries and recording mm. family history and history of the area. But what we're looking at now is a thing that he worked on in around 1920, uh, when he, where he went and collected all these stories and corridor um, and information from Ngaitahu people around all of Te Waipounamu uh, about names, place names, uh, stories, all sorts of things. And he listened to people and then wrote down what they had to share with him. And these are his papers right here, which have kind of been made into a book. Mm -hmm. But in these papers was information about the sea lion. Yeah, I, I just, I loved it when I found this. So <laughs> if you think of, of Harry's Beatty, he was, he was around when sea lions weren't really seen on the coastline, the mainland coastline at least, mm. but um, the people who talked to him, they were able to give names and give behaviours of, of kekeno, which are fur seals, of pakake, uh, and he talks about these different names, as well as um, the rapuka, which was the sea leopard, or what we know now as mm. the leopard seal, and it's great because he, he gives descriptions, he writes down the descriptions that were given to him about their behaviours. Um, which is amazing that now we're seeing them coming back, we can match up those behaviours with what's written down from 100 years ago. So this mātauraka uh, that has been recorded, like you say, is, is fascinating because it's stories about an animal that really wasn't on the mainland. How is this information helpful? I think, you know, it gives us another layer of understanding um, about the relationship that Māori had with different species, mm. with the pakake uh, in the past and kind of we know that we've had this ongoing relationship for a really really long time. And that must be helpful going forward when we as we develop a relationship with the species again as it grows in numbers and there's some really interesting like you say, Puraiko stories and Fakatoki, and I like this one that you were talking about before about Te Wera. Te Wera. Oh yeah, so this is cool. <laughs> um, Te Wera was a, a fighting chief, he was a rangatira, uh, and it was said that he didn't flinch from any weapon <laughs> and he wasn't afraid of anyone, but he he came across a whakahau, a big male sea lion, and he just came across the sea lion while he was walking on the beach and he got a real big fright. Um, so there's a whakatauaki about him uh, that says, ko te hoa kakari a te wera, ko te whakahau. The enemy or the, the fighting, um, fighting friend of te wera was the whakahau. I think that's a great story. He wasn't familiar with sea lions, he wasn't familiar with their behaviour and so he was afraid of them, right? Um, but um, just like today, we can mm. get a fright from sea lions mm. if we, we don't understand them, but if we learn as much as we can about them, then we're, we're able to kind of understand their behaviours and understand how to behave around them as well. 
and not get a fright. <laughs> Fascinating. Thank you so much for sharing a snapshot into that work and how it relates to what we're talking about today. Kia ora. Kia ora.